What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Hunt Family Off-Road. Today we're going to do a little maintenance on our rock sliders here. We're going to sand off some of the rust and get them recoated. So with that being said, let's get into it. Hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so I've had these rock sliders for about three years now. They're the first mod I put on my truck and they're heavily overdue for some maintenance. Starting off, I'm just going around labeling which bolts are which so I don't forget uh, when I go to put these back on. So this thing doesn't fall on me, I'm taking off all the bolts except for two lateral ones um, on either side so I can take them off last. The bolts do differ in size, uh, some are 12 millimeter and some are half an inch and a few are in between. So. Some of the bolts screw into nuts that are already factory welded in place on the frame which is nice, but some come with nuts and washers so you have to hold both sides to tighten. Uh, which is a pain because there's not a lot of room to work with. I also remembered that there are some big metal pieces that you have to install um, that they kind of sandwich the rock sliders in place um, and I'll show you those later. To access a lot of these bolts you have to take off little plastic pieces that come factory so I'll also show you those later. I think there was something like eight bolts on this side. It differs a little bit from side to side. Uh, just because of how some things are orientated. Before I take the last two bolts off, I put a cooler and some bins underneath. Uh, I even hooked up a cargo strap to my ceiling anchors for my tent storage as sort of a fail safe. And if you want a full video covering how I installed that, let me know in the comments. Even with the cooler, bins, and cargo strap, it was still sketchy being underneath this thing. Uh, the rock sliders are 70 pounds each of solid steel that I don't want smashing my face. After rinsing these off before grinding and repainting, I decided to pick it back up next weekend. Mr. Fog! Hi, Mr. Fog! With the help of my dogs coming to check up on me every few minutes, it took me about two hours to wire brush these back down to bare metal.
This is what I'm repainting with, uh, some spray in bed liner I picked up at my local AutoZone. These are the big pieces of metal I was talking about earlier, as well as the plastic pieces you have to take off to access some of the bolts. After lugging these things around for about a week, I got pretty comfortable with them. As you can tell, I'm now holding it up with my knees versus using all my safety precautions. Once I got all the bolts back on, I re-secured all the plastic pieces and I called it a day. Now let's look at some before and after. As the dogs don't seem to appreciate my hard work, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.